Good crew tonight, Danny. You got AJ Desai, Mark Shimmer, and Doug Sermons. You know, officials for tonight's game. I can tell you Charleston wearing their home alternate gray uniforms. Wow, the Chanticleers, they have on their away teal jerseys. Great crowd, Danny, for a Friday night. And a little chilly out there, a little windy. Wait for the home team to show up. You know, these guys feed off that energy. You can act as that six man, especially in games like this, when you want to come out and get a good, fresh, hot start. You always want to get the crowd into the game, as you just said, Danny, right Early. from the jump. Anytime you can engage the crowd. That's right. That's what you're wanting to do. I like those gray jerseys, too. That's something about them. Yeah, a just little, a little, little bit different. different. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. I do agree. So it'll be Cutherson and Brantley set to jump it up and we're underway. Check that. That was actually Bamba. The tip is won by Charleston, so the Cougars will begin on offense, moving right to left as Zepp Jasper has in the front court. Bounce pass over to Brantley. He'll hand it off to Galloway, he's at the top of the key, he'll throw it back to Riller, Riller comes off the curl, at the elbow, he'll throw it out to Galloway, back to Riller, just underway here at TD Arena. Brantley, he'll fire a three-pointer from the right corner and it's no good, too strong, rebound grab by the Chanticleers as Sanders comes down with it. Check that Travion Brown. Brown, the sophomore out of Tacoma, Washington, working against Zep Jasper. Brown near the timeline, dribbles left with the left hand, still has it, he'll throw back over to Kralji, picked up by Galloway. Drive, right baseline, cut off, he'll lay it off. Easy slam for Bamba. Mudo Bamba, the 6'8 junior out of Ontario, scores first, and Coastal Carolina leads two to nothing. 19 minutes left to play, just underway here at TD Arena. So Jasper brings it into the front court, bounce pass over and a kick. Trevion Brown. And right away, Everett, you can tell Coastal Carolina is going to apply pressure to the ball. They seem to extend that defense out and want to get Charleston comfortable in their offensive sets. So Galloway will inbound it. He gets it into Jasper right in front of the Coastal bench. Jasper with the bounce pass over to Riller. He's at the top of the key. He'll dump it down to Harris. Harris is in the paint, backing his way down. Jump hook over the left shoulder. No good. Shot it over the rim. Rebound grab by Coastal Carolina. So Bamba. Brings it into the front court, spinning, step back. He'll hand it off to Cutherson. Cutherson had the ball knocked away, gets it back. He'll back it away. He's working against Brantley. So dribble left, fire a three-pointer from the top of the key, and it's no good off to the left. Rebound grab by Brantley. Brantley along the right sideline will bring it to the front court himself. He's now in front of the Coastal Carolina bench, still has it. Working one-on-one, -on -one. Brantley spin, turn, step through, shut up the left hand, and it's good. Well, Brantley strikes first, and the Cougars now tied at two with 18.05 left to play. And that's a great move by JB right there. Under control, using his footwork. He's just so hard to stop with his weight, size, and skill down there. Brown working against Jasper. He still has it. He'll throw it back to Cutherson. Cutherson working against Brantley. A hand off to Kralji. Three-pointer from the left-hander. It's no good. It hits off the back iron. Nick Harris grabs the rebound. Harris over to Brantley. One of the coastal bench over to Jasper. He'll fire NBA three-pointer. Good. The Honey Badger buries the three. And Charleston now leads five to two with 17.30 left to play here in the first half. A near steal. Coastal able to save possession. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Algy has it. Had it nearly stolen. He'll take it down, Bamba in the paint. He'll throw it out to Cutherson. Got away with the walk. Turn, spin, shot up. That time they caught him on the second offense. And Sermon's right on top of it. The turnover is the first of the night. Now to give it back to Charleston as Brevin Galloway will check out of the Cougar lineup. And Marquise Pointer, the senior out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, will check in for the first time tonight. Cougars leading 5-2 with 17.05 left to play. First half. 
That's a great sign to get Marquise in early. You know, he's trying to work his way back into game shape. So Charleston looking to get him in early and get him started. Jasper has it. He'll throw it up to Rilla between the circles. He'll stop, pop, three-pointer. No good. The ball rims out. Cuthbertson grabs the rebound. He'll hand it off to Travion Brown. He'll leave it ahead. His teammate Mama, who lost the ball in the spin. Turnover. Cougars have it as Brantley has it in the front court. Then he had it stolen from him. Cuthbertson with the quick hands. Three on one. The fire a three-pointer from the right wing, and it's good. It's a three-pointer knocked down by A.J. Sanders, the senior out of Greenville, North Carolina. And we're tied at five with 16-25. Danny's not off. You see a three on one, and they pull up for a three-pointer. No, it tells you what they're looking. They're trying to stay in this game. They know they have to score with Charleston to have a chance, so they're looking for their opportunities and taking them. Willard double teamed over to Brantley. Jumper from the right baseline. Good. The Jarrell Brantley off to a quick start. He's got four points. Charleston leads seven to five. With 16 minutes left to play in the first half. Because Cliff Ellis calls for play number one. And Sanders over to Bamba. Bamba over to Cuthbertson. Over to Brown. Brown back over to Sanders. He'll dump it down to Cuthbertson on the block. He'll back his way down. Jump hook over, over the right shoulder is good. And Cuthbertson rocking the baby to sleep. I don't think he necessarily want to... Get Jarrell Brantley going. Well, he's a scorer himself, so you expect to be the one guy that might challenge him. All right, we'll see. Riller exposed the right baseline. Now he cut off, so he'll back it away. He'll dribble to the top. He'll swing it over to Harris. Harris over to Jasper in the left corner. He'll dribble out trouble. Bounce pass over to Riller. Ten seconds, Riller. Over to Marquise Pointer. Three-pointer is no good. Rims up, and Nick Harris gets the offense rebound. Shot up, and the shot blocked from behind and right into the hands of Coastal Carolina. Sanders. He'll leave it off for Brown. They'll swing it over to Cuthbertson. One of the three, but he'll back it away instead as he's picked up by Nick Harris. Cuthbertson. Pass in the corner to Sanders. Leave it back off for Cuthbertson. He'll drive right baseline. Pass in the corner to skip pass. Is that Brown? Yes, Brown with the pull-up jumper from the left baseline. Trivion Brown puts Coastal on top. 9-7 to seven with 14.51 left to play here in the first half. Marquise Pointer, bounce pass over to Riller. Riller at the free throw line. He'll kick it over to Zip Jasper. Three-pointer from the right wing, no, no good. But Harris gets the rebound out to Brantley. He'll fire a three-pointer, and this one's good. And Jarrell Brantley answers and puts Charleston back on top, 10 to nine, with 14.30 left to play. First half. Trivion Brown sprints it to the front court, comes to the jump stop in the paint. He'll throw it out to Crowley. Crowley will back it away. Crowley picks up his dribble. He'll dump it down to Bamba. Bamba working against Harris. The left-hander taking his time. Ten seconds left. Bamba spins, turns. Nowhere to go. Bounce pass underneath the Cusperson. Shot up with the right hand, and it's good. Actually, check that. That's not Cusperson. That was actually A.J. Sanders. And Coastal now back on top, 11-10, to 10, with 14 minutes left to play first half. Pointer along the right sideline. Turns his back and dribbles to the middle of the floor. Pointer in the paint. Now he'll kick it over to a wide-open Grant Riller. Three-pointer no good, but Nick Harris with the offensive rebound. The tip-up is good. And Nick Harris now with three offensive rebounds. And Charleston back on top 12 to 11 with 13.40 left to play first half. Trivion Brown working against Zip Jasper. Charleston in the man-to-man. -man. Bounce pass over to Bomba. He's right at the free throw line. Bounce pass to Crawlgy. Layup is good. Went back door on Grant Riller. And a back-and-forth affair here. And Coastal right now on top 13 to 12. 13.20 left to play, first half, clock ticking. Pointer over to Riller, well above the three-point line on the left wing. He'll drive down the paint, lay it off for Brantley. He went out for the one-hand slam, couldn't complete the play, but he's fouled. And when we come back, Jarrell Brantley will go leading 13 to 12. And so far, uh, pretty much what we expected, two solid basketball teams. Yeah, offense started quick. That's normally not what we see. Normally it's just slow starts. Both teams have come out aggressive in the first half. And you know, I can saw the reaction from the Charleston coaches. It's really been breakdowns at the back end of the defense where they're just face cutting and getting easy layups. So I'm sure that's the staff's talking about that with his team right now. Hey, we can't give up the easy backdoor layups and face cuts. A couple of substitutions for Coastal Carolina is Joss Peterson, a 5'10 junior from Woodsbrid, Virginia, checks into the lineup. Also, Tommy Burton, junior out of Montgomery, Alabama, as Brantley misses the first free throw. Isaac. Hippolyte, a 6'7 freshman from Spring Valley, New York, also checks into the lineup for Cliff Ellis. Brantley ties it at 13. So a lot of 13s on the scoreboard. 13 to 13 is the score, and there's 13-13 left to play in the first half as Charleston picks up a little full court pressure. 
As Carl G will bring it into the front court. Actually stops right before crossing, and he'll throw it ahead to Tyrell Gums. Freighter also checks into the lineup for the Chanticleers. So Carl G, bounce pass. Throw it down to Burton. Burton turn around shot blocked by Drell Brantley. He'll get the rebound as well. Brantley in the front court. He'll skip it over to Porter. Fakes the three. He'll drive to the basket. Floater off the glass, and it's good. Marquise Porter with the kiss off the glass gives Charleston the lead. 15 to 13 with 12 25 left to play. Here in the first half, as Peterson drives to the basket, comes to the jump stop. He'll get a three-pointer from the right corner, and it's good as Tyrell Gums Freighter knocks it down and puts Coastal back on top, 16 to 15, with 12 15 left to play. Right now, Danny Charleston shooting 46%. However, Coastal shooting 70% from the field. They're 7 for 10. Brantley has it right in front of the Coastal bench. He'll drive the right baseline. Now he'll back his way down. Brantley turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound falls into the hands of Tommy Burton. He'll hand it off to his teammate Peterson. Peterson over to Krology, fakes the three. No, he'll fire the three, and it's no good. As Osanachi Smart, who's checked into the lineup for the Cougars, grabs the rebound. He'll hand it off to Grant Riller. Riller in the front court. Skips it over to Pointer. Pointer gets it to the paint. Trying to get it to Jalen McManus, who's also checked into the lineup for Earl Grant. The ball knocked out of bounds. Of course, Chad Cook played here. I think Chad played here about six, maybe seven years ago. And uh, actually went home right after Christmas break and suffered a heart attack playing pickup basketball and unfortunately uh, passed away. But, uh, the Charleston Hope was started in his memory, a great organization that helps inner city kids. So yes, if you can, please make a donation at charlestonhope.com. Yeah, they do a lot of wonderful things around town. You see the name quite a bit. So Grant Riller drives to the basket. He's knocked to the ground and looked like he hit his head on the floor. But Grant able to get up with a little assistance. So he'll now go to the free throw line to shoot two. Charleston, the coaching staff, Danny, they do such a, a great job on inbounds plays. Seems like we always come up with a, a good shot out of a timeout. Yeah, it seems to be the norm. Like whenever they come out, it, 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 you're right. It's like they either they either make the shot or they get a quality one. So, it's, and you have to value possessions that way. If you're able to get a stoppage in play, organize your troops and get and get something clean. So Grant goes two for two from the free throw line and puts Charleston back on top, 17 to 16, with 11:30 left to play in the first half. As AJ Sanders checks back into the lineup, he has the basketball. He'll dribble right, pass it over to his teammate Hippolyte. And he drives to the basket, but he kind of drugged that back foot, and the turnover will give it back to Charleston. Yeah, I don't even know what that move was. <laughs> I don't know where he was going. He's going away from the basket, too. I don't. Uh, I might have lost the words on that play. <laughs> <laughs> so Brevin Galloway will check into the lineup for the Cougars. Grant Riller will take a quick blow. So it's Brantley, Jasper, Galloway, Harris, and McManus on the floor for the Cougars. It's Jasper. We'll get it over to McManus. Up to Harris. Above the three-point line. They'll swing it to Brantley. Brantley, here comes the double team. He recognized it. He'll throw it out to McManus. He'll fire a three-pointer, and it's no good as it hits the back iron. Looked like it was going to fall through, but came off at the last second as A.J. Sanders grabs the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court. He'll fire three of his own, and it rattles out. No good. Brantley grabs the rebound. He'll push it into the front court himself. Brantley lost the ball, got it back. He'll throw it out to Jasper. He'll swing it to Galloway. Galloway starts his drive to the basket, and he'll wisely throw it out to Zep Jasper, who will reset the offense for the Cougars. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Charleston leading 17 to 16. 10 35 left to play. Jasper. Back to Brantley, NBA three-pointer from the right wing, no good, too strong. But Jalen McManus with the offensive rebound, his put back at Tampa's no good. Ball goes out of bounds off of Coastal Carolina, so it'll be Charleston's basketball. The one thing about Charleston tonight, they've come out aggressive on the offensive rebounds. They're getting their hands on a lot of second opportunities, keeping them in this game. Nick with four offensive rebounds already, doing a great job. And that's what they the asked tonight. Him. That's what they. That's his job. He's on the floor. Josh Coleman checks into the lineup, the 6'9 senior from Alpharetta, Georgia. Zep Jasper will bring it in. Jasper looking. He'll throw it in the backcourt, and Grant Riller will run it down. 
Smart play. So now Grant will run the point guard position. Actually, he's have Jasper on the floor as well. Middle of the floor between the circles. Riller over to Jasper. Drives the right baseline. Still has it. Did he step out of bounds? Nope. They're going to say he was a blocking foul. The foul is going to go against Josh Coleman. So he checks in and promptly picks up a foul. That's the third team foul against Coastal Carolina. Charleston has yet to be whistled for a foul. Jasper won't inbound it. On the baseline, gets it to Grant Riller. Jumper from the right. Baseline is good. Charleston extends their lead to three, 19 to 16. Ten minutes left to play in the first half. Cutherson working against Brantley. Bounce pass over to Coleman. Coleman back to Cutherson. Going to get over to Pierce. He'll fire a three-pointer. No good. Too long as the air ball goes out of bounds. That was David Pierce, the 6'3 freshman out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Crowd lets him know about that one. <laughs> Coastal Carolina on a 2-minute and 30-second scoring drought. That's allowed Charleston to get the lead back 19-16 to 16 as Riller has it. He'll kick it over to wide open Brevin Galloway for three. No good. Ball loose on the floor, and finally Cutherson comes up with the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court himself. He'll throw it in the corner from Sanders. Three-pointer from the right corner, no good. Rebound grab by Cutherson. He lost the ball stolen by Brevin Galloway. But Galloway will bring it to the front. To Jasper, over to Riller, and he will miss the layup. Brantley tried to tip it in. He couldn't do it. Ball's loose, and a foul. No, they're going to say it went off of Grant Riller, so it'll be Coastal Carolina basketball. And not too often, Danny, we say a miss layup by Grant Riller. But it's almost like he was going so fast, he couldn't slow down. That's the only way he misses. He's so quick to the basket, and he has such great body control once he gets there. You're, you're right. It's very rare that he missed something right there, two feet around the rim. Jalen McManus checks into the lineup to give Jarrell Brantley a blow. I guess on that. I think we have a personal foul on one of our what floor we seat members, Beer has been spilled. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like you got uh, managers, you got three ball boys. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> a beer cut all the way over the floor. I think one of the coastal players ran by and his hand hit it. A.J. Sanders. Well, they're working hard to get the beer up off the ground, off the floor. While we have a moment, don't forget Cougars will open up CAA play on next Saturday night here in Wilmington. Tip-off will be at 7 p.m. Cougars, a big rival of ours, UNCW. Charleston, Danny, after a pretty hot start, they've just connected on one of their last seven field goal attempts. Coastal not, not better. They're over their last four, including... A scoring drop over the last 305. Yeah, both teams came out on, on fire hitting everything. It's almost like they settled back in a little bit, started missing a few shots, but uh, it's kind of flattened out a little bit offensively for both teams. So, oh. The spillage on the floor still being attended to. Like eventually, and again, this is a situation where, yeah, these guys, both teams, so big, so fast, so strong, you don't want anybody to twist an ankle or just anything of that nature. So, yeah, you want to want to get it all up. Yeah, and beer gets sticky if you don't find every place. So, you know, you'll have those, like, stick spots on the floor if you don't get it all, all up. So they're doing a good job of uh, making sure they get all of it up. I think they've gone through probably at least – I don't know, 10 towels. Yeah. Trying to get it off the floor. While we have a second, Northeastern defeated St. Bonaventure earlier today, 64 to 59. Northeastern now 6-6 six and six on the season. Also Towson all over Tulane, 73 to 55. So the Tigers pick up their fourth victory of the year. A little full court pressure being applied by Charleston. And the Seahawks. Uh, Chanticleer is able to get it in with ease. I'm saying the Seahawks, so I'm looking at my scoreboard, and Wilmington and Mercer tied at 25 with seven minutes to play. Cutherson in the corner to Sanders. Sanders back to Cutherson, deep in the right cor left corner. 
He'll skip pass over the top. Over to Travion Brown. Five seconds on the clock. Brown, back of the way. He'll fire a desperation three, and it's good. Actually, they're going to give him a two, and they're going to check it at the next dead ball. But right now, they're seeing just a two-pointer. So that will keep Charleston on top. 19 to 18 with 8.35 left to play. Jasper in the front court, going left. Cut off, so he'll come right. The bounce pass over to Grant Riller. Riller starting his path towards the basket. He'll force up a shot he wanted to call, didn't get it. And the crazy shot will end into the hands of Coastal Carolina as Trevion Brown on the left baseline into the paint. Little five-footer hits the back iron, no good, and Revan Galloway grabs the rebound. He'll hand it off to Zip Jasper along the right sideline. Back to Galloway, and they're going to call a foul. Yep, nope, they're going to call a travel. The travel will go in probably a good call. I thought he moved that, moved a little too quick, Dan. Yeah, I think he shifted right before he took off. I think that was a good call, but surprised that Grant Riller didn't get the call before. You, once you get that status as a main player, normally, once you draw the body contact, the refs go your way, just unlucky at home for him. So the turnover will give it back to the shunt to clears. Charleston tonight, just their second turnover. Coastal Carolina done a great job as well protecting the basketball. Only three turnovers for them. Trevion Brown in front of the Charleston bench. Three-pointer. Hippolyte is no good. And Riller grabs the rebound. He'll push it ahead to Jasper in front of the Coastal bench. Back to Riller. Riller splits the double team in the paint. He'll lay it off to Jill McManus, and he'll slam it home with two hands. Great pass from Grant Riller to Jalen McManus, and the Cougars lead 21 to 18. But 7:35 left to play here in the first half. Travion Bound, guarded by Jasper. He'll get the screen, doesn't use it. Behind the back dribble, now comes left, double team, push the hill, and a pass stolen by Grant Riller. Look out, and Riller will slam it home with one hand. Riller with the nosebleed because he's so high in the air. Brown drives, shot up with the left hand, and it falls for him. That's Grant's new thing now. I figured it out because he did the same thing against VCU on a breakaway dunk because he's so high when he comes down, he'll wipe his nose like he has yeah, a nosebleed. nosebleed. Wow. So Charleston leading 23-20 with 6.50 left to play. First half, puts the double team again. Riller shot up. It's good, and he's fouled. Grant Riller with the drive and the kiss off the glass. And when we come back. was a three-point play, or three-point shot, I should say. So Charleston leads 25-21 right now with 6.50 left to play. And that's what you got to love about college basketball, using the technology available. I like it when they go back and get the play right. You know, back in my day, they didn't have that. So now to have that availability to get the call right, I think it's so much better for the players. So it's 25-21, Charleston with the lead. Riller at the free throw line, misses the free throw, the rebound grabbed by Coastal Carolina. Brown in the front court, work, working against Pointer. Pick up his dribble, he'll throw it in the corner to Sanders. Sanders will dump it down to Bamba. He's working against Brantley, he'll spin in the paint, jump hook over the right shoulder, it's good. And I believe Bamba is a left-hander, so you can't let him get to that spot. But a good job by Bamba, and that cuts the Charleston lead down to two. 25-23, 6.20 left to play. Pointer, a near steal, a lazy pass. Fortunately for Charleston, they're able to get it back as Jalen Richard drives the baseline, lost the ball, but it goes right to Pointer. He'll throw it out to Brantley, back to Pointer, over to Jalen Richard. He'll fire the three-pointer, and it's no good. The freshman Jalen Richard out of Durham, North Carolina. Couldn't connect, and A.J. Sanders now has the basketball in the front court. Sanders. He'll leave it off for Brown. He'll fire a deep three-pointer, and it's good. Travion Brown with the three-pointer over from the right wing, and Coastal back on top, 26-25 with 5.45 left to play. Riller takes his time, walks into the front court. Riller, pass over to Richard. He'll draw the left baseline. Reverse layup comes up short, but Jalen McManus gets the offense rebound. His putback attempt, no good, and a rebound grabbed by Coastal Carolina. Brown has it on the right wing, working against Pointer. He'll drive left, top of the key. 
Brown, he'll swing it over to Cuthbertson. Thought about the three, but instead he'll pass it over to Brown on the right wing. Same spot, he'll fire the three. No good this time, too strong. Jalen McManus grabs the rebound ahead to Griller. He's in the front court, one on two. Over to Brantley, and he'll slam it home with one hand. The beast, Jarrell Brantley with an emphatic finish. And that'll put Charleston back on top, 27-26. 5.06 left to play. Such authority, Danny Johnson, like you used to do back in the day. Yeah, but the, the play that Riller made, he's so fast. He creates such a problem with his speed to the rim. That's what really opens it up for everybody else. 5.03 left to play in the first half. Charleston leading 27-26. Brown taking his time. He'll bring it into the front court. Over to Carlgy. Carlgy guarded by Riller. Pass it over to Cuthbertson. Cuthbertson, pull-up jumper from the right elbow. No good. Rebound grabbed by Brantley. Brantley ahead to Pointer. Pointer looking to run. He's in the front court. Along the left sideline. Pointer will dump it down to McManus. McManus on the block. Step through. He'll kick it over to Jalen Richard. Wide open three. Good. So Jalen Richard, the freshman, has a few words for the bench. He knocks down the three, and Charleston extends their lead to four. 30 to 26 with 4.24 left to play in the first half. Cuthbertson over to Sanders, over to Carlgy. Carlgy back over to Brown. Brown over to A.J. Sanders. Sanders. Cuthbertson, five seconds on the shot clock. Top of the key, working against Pointer. Pull up, three-pointer with two seconds to shoot, no good. Ball's loose and finally grabbed by, who was that? And he misses the dunk. Actually, that was Bamba. Bamba got the initial offensive rebound, put the shot up, was no good, got the offensive rebound again and missed the dunk. Five rebounds. Grant Riller with eight. Zep Jasper and Jalen Richard both with three, while Pointer and McManus both have two. Coastal being paced by Javion Brown, 10 points on four of six shooting. And Madhu Bamba has four. Cuthbertson only has two. Sanders has five. Uh, Carl G has two. And Gums Freighter has three. Coastal shooting 46% from the field, while Charleston shooting 43%. So it'll be Charleston's basketball. This pointer will inbound it to Jasper. It's Jasper, Pointer, Brantley, Riller, and Harris on the floor. Carl G, Cuthbertson, Brown, Sanders, and Bamba on the floor for Coastal Carolina. Jasper dribbles away from the double team. Riller. Skip pass over to Pointer. Pointer, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Harris, he'll face up. He'll shoot the 10-footer, and it's good. Soft touch by the big man. As Nick Harris able to square up, face up, and knock down the 10-footer. Nice job by Nick. Yeah, and that's a bonus from him. He's usually only two or three feet away from the basket. He can inside pivot, knock down the 10-footer. That's just going to add to his game. Charleston now leading 32-26 with 3.15 left to play. Cuthbertson, three-pointer from the top of the key is good. And Coastal Carolina refuses to go away. And they cut the Charleston lead down to three. 32-29 is the score. Charleston with the lead and the basketball. 2.58 left to play, first half. Brantley drives to the basket, tripped. Oh, and his knee took a funny twist there. So Brantley, the foul will go against Zach Cuthbertson. That's his first team fifth. It's Nick Harris assisting the ball boys with the uh, sweat on the floor. So Zep Jasper will inbound the basketball. This is where that Charleston usually has a good play. Brantley. Working one-on-one -on -one against Cutherson. Step back, jumper from the left wing, no good, too strong. Nick Harris tips it out, but unfortunately right into the hands of Cutherson. He's in the front court, ball poked away, out of bounds, and so it'll stay Coastal Carolina basketball. 2.42 left to play in the first half. Charleston leading 32-29. JB referring to himself like, my bad. I think he felt like they could get a better shot than a step back 15-footer. Like he took, he understands they got to get a higher percentage shot in that situation. So Coastal will inbound it. Sanders will do the honors. He'll throw it up to Bamba, top of the key. Bamba's working against Harris. He'll drive straight to the basket, and they're going to call a foul on Nick Harris. So Nick trying to impede the progress, and somewhat expected. Charleston's only been whistled for, that's just their second foul. Coastal's been whistled for five, so of course they're going to try and even it up here as we go into the half. 
Cuthbert in on the curl. Misses the jumper from the left baseline. And Brantley grabs the rebound. Ahead to Pointer. Front court stop. Pop. Three pointer. No good. The ball rimmed out. And AJ Sanders grabs the rebound. Sanders, middle of the floor. He'll throw it back to Cutherson. Fakes the three. Drives to the paint. Then he'll kick it over to Travion Brown. Three pointer in front of the Charleston bench. Is good. And they're tied at 32 is Travion Brown. Now with 13 points here in the first half. 32 alls to score with 207 left to play, and Earl Grant's going to take a timeout. We'll keep it right here. Coming up at the half, Danny and I will recap the first half. We'll also take a look at the first half stats. Take a look at scores from around the country. Also the CAA, obviously. just catching our second wind because when the world rests we roll up our sleeves we are seekers doers and change agents creators and explorers this is our city this is our school this place is for you 60 million people in the U.S. face the day-to-day -day reality of living with a mental illness. Even though most people can experience relief from their symptoms and support for their recovery, less than half of the adults in the U.S. who need mental health services get the help they need. Danny by Coastal Carolina. Charleston taking a little while to recognize it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Brantley drives the baseline. Six seconds. Skip pass over to... Corner. He'll drive the baseline. He'll kick it over to Riller, and they don't even notice the shot clock. And that's a shot that Marquise Pointer has got to shoot. He was wide open. Yeah, I mean, when you get him moving in the zone, inside out. JB made a good driving kick. Marquise has to know he's a point guard. He needs to know time and score. Take that three. So the turnover will give it back to Coastal. And you see Earl Grant talking to Zepp Jasper right now. You have to know how much time is on the shot clock. So Coastal Basketball, 32 alls to score, 135 left to play here in the first half. As Travion Brown brings it into the front court. Guarded by Pointer, Charleston in the man to man. He'll get the screen from Bamba. Brown still has it. He'll throw it back to Cutherson. Fakes the three. Between the leg dribble, he'll back it away. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Cutherson drives right past Brantley. Shot up. Shot is no good. Thought he got fouled. A lot of contact. No whistle. And the Cougars come up with the rebound. Riller at the basket. Layup, no good. He misses another one, and Bamba comes up with the rebound. Here come the Shauna Clears on the run. Brown, jump stop, pass underneath to Bamba, or Cutherson. He can't catch it cleanly. Tried to save it. He threw it out of bounds, and so it'll be Charleston's basketball with 102 left to play in the first half. Both teams getting kind of sloppy here toward the end of the game. They might want to settle down and get into some kind of set and try to get some flow going into the second half. So one minute left to play, first half. Clock running. Again, Charleston and Coastal Carolina all tied at 32. His pointer will over to leave it off to Riller. Back to pointer, over to Galloway. He can try to get in the middle of that zone. Brantley over to Riller. Riller, jumper from the left wing, good. And Riller buries the three. That's got to be deflating to Coastal Carolina because you play good defense and just a better shot by Grant Riller. So Brown has in the front court, and Cliff Ellis is going to take that 30 where you use it or you lose it. We'll keep it right here. Danny, very entertaining first half. A pretty much cleanly played first half. Coastal shooting 48%. Charleston shooting 42%. Not a lot of turnovers. Charleston with four turnovers. Coastal with five. Coastal's only committed five personal fouls. Charleston's only committed, well, one. I thought it was two, just one. Right. So far, pretty good uh, basketball game. Yeah, it's been a game of waves. It, it, both teams came out hot, kind of cooled off, picked it back up, cooled off again, and looks like they might be scoring again down the stretch. Um, I guarantee you Charleston's going to talk about only having one team foul because sometimes when the staff sees that, they say we're not playing defense the way we should if we only have one team foul. Both teams giving their final instructions. So it'll be Coastal's basketball. 34.3 seconds left. There's a 10 second differential between the shot clock and game clock. So Coastal cannot hold for the final shot. 
And Charleston just wants to get a stop here and get a good quality shot again for 10 seconds left. So now. Brown near the left sideline, dribbles to the middle of the floor. Charleston stays in the main. They have a double stack. He'll work around the first one, reverse it back, goes to Carl G. Carl G had the ball knocked away, he gets it back. Carl G being hounded in the corner, and Grant Riller comes up with the steal. Riller with the steal. Great defense by Grant Riller, and the shot clock is off. And now Charleston can hold for the final shot if they want to. Eight seconds shown on the clock. Middle of the floor, Grant Riller, six, five. Grant working one-on-one, -on -one, three, two, over to Brevin Galloway. Three-pointer at the buzzer, no good. And Carl G. grabs the rebound, and that'll end the first. As you mentioned, it's Coastal's basketball back to action. Sean and Clears wearing their road teal uniforms. Charleston with their home grain and steal. Brevin Galloway with the breakaway, and he'll slam it home with two hands. And just like that, Danny, we talked about Charleston needing to pick up the defense intensity, and on the opening possession, Brevin Galloway comes up with the steal and a dunk. Charleston leads 36-32, 19-35 left to play. Cuthbertson, hand off to Bamba. Bamba handed off to Brown. Brown back to Bamba right at the free throw line. Spinning against Harris. Shot up the left hand, no good, an air ball. Jarrell Brantley grabs the rebound. Outlet over to Riller along the left sideline, right in front of Earl Grant. Riller underneath to Harris. Harris working against Bamba. Jump hook over the left shoulder. Put too much spin on it that time, and it spun off the rim. Long rebound goes out of bounds, and so it'll be Coastal's basketball. You could tell that time, Danny, when Nick, the jump hook over the left shoulder, kind of put spin on the basketball, and that's why it fell off. Yeah, the wrong English to the side of the rim he was on caused the spin away from where the target was. So I have a violation. It was a spot throw in, and Cuthbertson forgot about that. Or did he step? Okay, he stepped over the line. So it'll be a turnover for Coastal Carolina. So not the start that Cliff Ellis probably wants here in the second half. Back-to-back -back turnovers, and it'll give it back to Charleston as Brantley has it over to Riller. Riller gets into the paint, shot up with the right hand, and it falls in, and it's good. Charleston out of the locker room with a quick 4-0 run. Cougars lead 38-32 now. 18-55 left to play in the first half. Crawlgy has it. He'll throw it back out to Brown. Brown over to Crawlgy. The runner in the paint, the shot is up, it's good, and he's fouled. So the left-hander, Carl G, with the driving layup, picks up the foul and an opportunity for a three-point play. Tough shot there. You almost see him only strictly a shooter. You don't really know that he can put it on the deck and create, so I think he's surprised at Charleston defense with his ability to score going toward the basket. Carl G with four points on the night. Still has fours. He missed the uh, free throw, but Cuthbertson gets the offensive rebound, and the putback is good. So Charleston, a little lack of days go on blocking out. Cuthbertson able to take advantage of it. And cuts to Charleston lead down to two. 38-36 with 18-25 left to play. Galloway over to Brantley, over to Riller. Riller gets the screen from Harris, splits the double team, gets into the paint. He'll pass over to Jasper or over to Galloway, back over to Brantley. Three-pointer from the top of the key. Left it short off the front iron. Rebound grabbed by Coastal Carolina. Here comes Shauna Clears. Trevion Brown fakes the three, drives. They'll throw it back to Cutherson. They'll swing it over to Sanders. AJ for three, and it's good. And Coastal Carolina back on top. 39-38. 18 minutes left to play. 17.55 left to play. It's Galloway over to Riller. Riller over to Jasper. Jasper. Back over to Riller. Riller, he'll stop. He'll fire a three-pointer, and it's no good off the right iron. And the rebound grabbed by Kralji. Over to Brown. Close on a 7-0 run, and Brevin Galloway got a little too aggressive. And a 7-0 run over the last minute has given Coastal Carolina the control once again. Yeah, it seems like each team got, like, these little two three basket runs they kind of go back and forth with each other so brown has it middle of the floor working against jasper bounce pass over to crawl g and have a screen a moving screen by bomba yeah let's say bomba set the illegal screen trying to free up crawl g and the turnover will give it back to the cougars and charleston trailing 39 38 17 20 left to play Riller has it on the right wing, back to Jasper. 
Over to Galloway, little zone action. Three-pointer from Jasper, no good, too strong off the back iron. All of a sudden, Charleston's gone cold from behind the arc. They're three of 17 now. Behind the three-point line as Trevion Brown drives left. Leave it off for Kral Kralji. Kralji will dump it down to Bamba. Bamba working against Harris. Jump hook with the right hand this time, no good. And Galloway grabs the rebound. Charleston's got to get out and run, Danny. Yeah, they got to find some transition. Not settle for three-pointers. We'll dump it down to Brantley. Brantley drives to the basket and offensive foul. Good call as he runs over. Is that Bamba? Yes. Ran Bamba over, and the offensive foul will give it back to Coastal Carolina. Yeah, I think Charleston's not taking the right approach against this zone. They're settling for the three when they should try to work inside out. That's their success, inside out, not just settling for perimeter jump shots. So 39-38, Coastal with the lead. 16.50 left to play. Cutherson working against Brantley. Cutherson runs right by him. He'll go up, and he'll lay it in, and he's fouled by Nick Harris. And Cutherson looks at Jarrell Brantley because Brantley was telling him, you can't guard me. So those two guys are going back and forth at each other. And Cutherson right now, now with nine points with an opportunity for 10. If he can connect on the free throw. So Jalen McManus is going to check in for Jarrell Brantley. And Earl Grant probably telling Jarrell, you got to settle down. Less talking and more playing. Cutherson's free throw, good. Coastal Carolina on a 10-0 run over the last two minutes, and they lead by four, 42-38. The zone, this 1-3-1 zone, is giving Charleston's fix. Riller over to Jasper. Ball fake, back to Riller. Riller behind the back dribble, gets into the paint. Shot up with the right hand, and it is good. Oh, what a move to slice through the zone. 42-40. Coastal still on top with 16-20 left to play. Brown picked up now by Jalen McManus as Charleston switching everything. Brown trying to run a clear out against McManus. He'll dribble right. Fake. Saunders under the basket. He'll throw it over to Crawley. The left-hander's three-pointer is no good, but he gets his own offensive rebound. And he'll lay it off for Cuthbertson. Cuthbertson over to Bamba. Left-hand layup is good. Forty-four to forty. Coastal with the lead. 15.50 left to play. Riller has it. Getting to the paint once again. He'll lay it off for McManus. McManus with the layup under the basket, and he's good. Another assist from Grant Riller to Jalen McManus. McManus now with four points on the night. Cuts the coastal lead down to two. 44-42 with 15.30 left to play. Crawlsy has it, guarded by Riller. Back out to Brown. Charleston still in the man-to-man. Crawls, he has it on the left wing. Cut off by Riller, so he'll back it away. Trying to dump it down to Bamba. Gets it to Bamba on the left baseline. Working one-on-one -on -one against Harris. He'll face up. He'll get into the paint. Jump hook over the right shoulder. Left hand, and it's good. 46-42. Coastal with the lead. 15-05 left to play. Riller over to Jasper. Jasper over, over to Brand, uh, Galloway, back to Jasper, over to Riller. Riller got away with the walk. Fadeaway jumper from the right baseline is good. They got to get the ball to the middle of the zone, Danny. And he's the only one that's creating that. Grant is the only person that's trying to get to the middle of that zone to create it to collapse and open it up. Everybody else is swinging it around. They got to look for the gap. 46-44, Charleston leads. Excuse me, trails Coastal 46-44 with 14.35 left to play. Cutherson drives to the basket, shot up, no good. Rebound grabbed by Nick Harris. Here come the Cougars. Riller in the front court. He's got Jasper on the right wing. Riller at the rim, shot up with the right hand. It's good, and he's fouled. And with the step over for Grant Riller, and he ties it at 46. And when we come back, Riller will be at the free throw line to shoot one. 14.25 left to play. In regulation, we're all tied at 46. You're listening to the Charleston Sports Network from Learfield.
Hoffman in the corner, do it out of bounds. And they're gonna call a foul on Brevin Galloway. And you know, sometimes, Danny, I know you'll say, those are the types of turnovers you're gonna have to live with because Grant's just so explosive. But also sometimes, you gotta stick to the fundamentals. Yeah, he, he some of his wild plays come as a result of him taking a level of risk. And you know, you don't want him having too much of it, but you realize he's gonna have more. If he has more wild plays and turnovers, that's when I say you live with it. Coach Grant takes him out, probably just say, catch your breath, just do what you do. So Zepp Jasper will check in for Grant Riller. Crawley drives the right baseline. His left hand layup is good. Crawley. Puts Coastal back on top, 50 to 49. Check that 49 48. Charleston with the lead. It's the entry pass from Galloway to McManus. They're going to call a foul on the floor. So Zip Jasper will inbound the basketball to Brantley. Brantley right in front of his bench will hand it off to Jasper over to Pointer. Back over to Jasper. Above the three-point line on the left wing. They'll swing it all the way around. Brevin Galloway for three. That ball rattles out. Ball knocked out of bounds. It went off of Coastal Carolina, so it'll be Charleston's basketball. Galloway had a good look, Danny. Ball just rimmed out at the last second. Yeah, he's the one guy that could take those shots. When the swing is around the perimeter, he's the guy that can let it go in that situation. So Charleston leads. 49 to 48, exactly 13 minutes left to play. His pointer takes it away from Brantley. Throw it back to Brantley. Brantley on a block, shot up with the right hand, and it's good. Jarrell Brantley with the lay in. And he puts Charleston on top. 51 48, 12 45 left to play. Brown gets the screen from Burton. Now he's directing traffic. He'll swing it in the corner. Crawlji, Crawlji drives to the basket. Left hander layup is good. And all of a sudden, he's starting to heat up. He's got eight points now. And they're saying Crawlge. I think I was saying G. Let's go with Crawlge. Well, we'll go with the, uh, the public address announcer. So we'll go with Crawlge. He's got eight points. Charleston with the basketballs. They'll swing it over to Jasper. Jasper over to Galloway. Three-pointer from the right corner. It's good. And that's the three that we're used to seeing from Brevin Galloway. Galloway with his first three-pointer of the night. Puts Charleston on top by four, 54 to 40. 12 minutes left to play. We'll have a media timeout coming up at the next dead ball. Brown, bounce pass over to Kralj. Back to Brown. Brown, double left. Brown picked up by Jasper. Calls for the screen from Burton, gets it. Brown working against McManus. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Lost the footing, lost the ball. Ball still loose. He gets it back, tied up on the floor. Jump ball on the possession arrow will favor Charleston. So when we come back, it'll be Charleston's basketball. Help out as much as we can. Arena, Charleston leading 54 to 50. Charleston being paced by Grant Riller is 19 points. Jarrell Brantley with 12. Kevin Galloway now with seven, while Nick Harris has four, as does Jalen McManus. Zepp Jasper and Jalen Richard both with three. Marquise Pointer with two. For the Shauna Clares, Travion Brown has 13 points. All of those came in the first half. Also, Zach Cutherson now has joined him in double figures as he has 10. So back to action. Cougar basketball as Marquise Pointer has in the front court, working against the bigger bomber, step back jumper is good. That was a big time move, Danny. The step back jumper from the left baseline puts Charleston on top by six, 56 to 50, as Josh Peterson speeds into the front court. The guard for Deshaun Clears. Peterson picks up his dribble, throw it out to Cuthbertson. Cuthbertson back to Peterson. Fakes ball, fake gets into the paint, floater up, and it's good. So Josh Peterson. Cuts that Charleston lead down to four. 56 52 is the score. Cougars with the lead and the basketball. 10 53 left to play. The Honey Badger for three. The ball rims up, and Brantley gets the offensive rebound. Ball fake shot up, and it's good. So Jasper missed the initial three, and Brantley with the putback gives Charleston their 58th point of the night, and they lead 58 52 with 10 35 left to play. Cutherson drives to the basket, shot blocked by Brantley, and he gets the rebound. Out of nowhere came Jarrell Brantley. 
And he has it still. Jumper from the right elbow. Good. And very reminiscent to what we saw against Sienna, Danny. It's somewhat of a quiet first half. And in the second half, Brantley erupts. And Charleston now on top 60 to 52 with 10-10 left to play. And Sanders has it. He'll throw it underneath to Cutherson. Shot up. Shot's good, and he's fouled. Good ball fake that time by Cutherson. He showed it. He knows JB is real aggressive. He showed it. Got him up in the air and used his body to get in there and get the hand one. Smart play. So Galloway will check out of the lineup. McManus will check in. And Cutherson has got 12 points on the night. Will go to the free throw line. Cutherson averaging 20 points, nine rebounds a game. Makes the free throw. So Kralge will check into the lineup as well as Brown. Ten oh five left to play. Charleston up by five, 60 to 55 with Cougars with the basketball as Marquise Pointer jogs into the front court. Middle of the floor, he'll pass it over to the right wing to Grant Riller. Riller will back away. Here comes the double team. He'll pass around it over to Brantley. Brantley will fire a three-pointer. No good. Rebound grabbed by Marquise Porter and saves it, but unfortunately right to Travion Brown. He'll pitch it ahead to Sanders. Sanders in the front court, shot up off the glass, and it's good. 60 to 57. Charleston leading. However, Coastal Carolina hit five of their last six shots. Zip Jasper over to Riller. Riller in the paint, spinning, turning, step back jumper from the free throw line. No good. Ball tipped out of bounds. And it'll be Charleston. Check that coastal basketball. And it seems like every point in this game where Charleston makes a little run, the Chanticleers make one of their own. Right, they seem to be trading blows. Right now, Charleston still on top, however. 60 to 57 with 9.15 left to play. Brown dribbles left, picked up by Jasper. Trying to direct traffic. He wants to clear out. He'll get it down to Cuthbertson, working against McManus. He'll face up on the baseline, steps into the paint, got away with the walk, Just took that extra step, throw it out to Brown. Brown, eight seconds to shoot. He'll down the paint. He'll leave it off for Bomber. The left-hand jump hook is no good. The rebound grabbed by Pointer. He'll bring it into the front court himself, looking over the defense. Marquise gets into the paint, out of control, ran the guy over, and they're gonna, he's going to be a blocking foul. Boy, did Marquise catch a break there. Because he looked like he was out of control. It looked like he banged knees. Yeah, he might have got a Charlie horse on that one. Sometimes when you come in out of control, that knee catches right in that thigh area. Good to see the senior from Jonesboro, Arkansas, Marquise Pointer. Hit a big shot in the win over VCU with about five minutes to play. And you know for Marquise, it's just a matter of time, Danny, before he gets back into, this, well, Marquise basketball mode. And he's been playing within himself. He hasn't forced his way back into anything. He kind of he's played under control because he knows he doesn't have the rhythm he has. He's been out for a long time. So every game it seems like he's getting more and more in rhythm. And for some reason the officials are gonna I don't know, they're checking something on the monitor. Not sure what they're looking at. We'll keep it right here, Danny, while we got a moment. Let's take a look at scores. In the CAA. Couple of finals to pass along to you. Northeastern defeats St. Bonaventure 64 to 59. Also, it was Towson over Tulane 73 to 55. So Northeastern now six and six. Towson four and seven. And one other team in action right now is Mercer, leads against UNC Wilmington 53 to 50 with 10:59 left to play in that game as well. Around the country, there was a couple of top 25 games in action. Pull up the scoreboard. I don't know what they were looking at, Danny, but obviously they got their answer. But back to action as Jasper will inbound it to Grant Riller. Riller over to Pointer. Pointer, jumper from outside the left elbow, left it short, and Cutherson grabs the rebound. 60-57, Charleston with the lead, 8.33 left to play. 
Cutherson hands it off to Sanders. He'll dribble to the top of the key between the circles. He'll throw it back left to Kralge. Kralge on the left baseline. He'll throw it out to Cutherson. He'll drive. Cut off there. Nice job by Jalen McManus. Cutherson. Crossover into the paint. Shot out with the left hand. No good. And the rebound grabbed by Cutherson. And as he fought it, just took it away from Jarrell Brantley. In that instance, Cutherson just wanted it more than uh, Jalen McManus. Yeah, he's going to play hard. That's that's his deal. He started off this game. He's a 20-point scorer, one of the best players in the Sun Belt. You knew he was going to come out here high intensity looking to make plays tonight. Cutherson now with 13. Also, Travion Brown. The foul went on McManus, and that's the seventh against Charleston. So this will result in a free throw one and one as Cutherson makes it. Coastal's only been whistled for four fouls. So the Shauna Clares will be shooting free throws the rest of the game. Cutherson awaits the second. With a make, he can cut this down to a one-point lead, and he does. Charleston 60, Coastal Carolina 59, 8-13 left to play. Charleston has not scored a point in the last two minutes. During that time, Coastal on a 7-0 run. Riller on the left wing. Riller gets into the paint. Jumper from the free throw line. Rims out, no good. Rebound grabbed by Cutherson. Real on the night, 8 of 16 from the floor. Shauna Clear is looking to take the lead. Javion Brown has it on the right wing. Passing the corner to Sanders. They'll dump it down to Cutherson, who's being guarded by Zip Jasper. They'll throw it out to Sanders for the lead and three, and he hits it. AJ Sanders hits the three, and the Shauna Clears are in the lead. 62 to 60 with 7.30 left to play. Shauna Clears on a 10 0 run. Zip Jasper. Double handoff to Riller. Riller in the paint. Layup blocked, and they're going to call a foul against Cutherson. And when we come back, that'll send Grant Riller to the free throw line. Not scored a point. Danny, what do you think has been the difference and has led to this run by Coastal Carolina? Just the, they're the last team to have a run. It seems to be that kind of game. I mean, we always talk about a basketball is definitely a game of runs. It hasn't been. It's really been accentuated in this game because it's been like, you know, 7-0 run Charleston, 8-0 run Coastal Carolina. It's just back and forth, back and forth. So expect to see probably, what, three, four more runs in this last 7-23. Charleston basketball wants to remind you to consider a donation to Charleston Hope in honor of our former player and friend Chad Cook. Donations may be made online at www.charlestonhope.com. That's www.charlestonhope.com. Chad Cook, a former player here, played here seven years ago. Thought of a sudden heart attack when he was at home for Christmas break. Charleston Hope, a great foundation that helps inner city kids here in Charleston. So as you can tell by the reaction of the crowd, Grant misses the first free throw. So he waits the second. Riller with 19 points on the night, now has 20 as he's now four of six from the free throw line. Charleston picking up full court pressure. Coastal lead, 62-61, 7.20 left to play. As Bama brings into the front court, we'll hand it off to Cutherson, picked up by Brantley. We'll hand it off to Brown. Back over to Sanders, bounce pass over to Bamba, over to Cutherson. Brown, over to Sanders. Sanders trying to get the duck down, couldn't do it, so he'll throw it out to Cutherson. He'll fire a three-pointer from the right corner, and it's no good, and the rebound grabbed by. It actually goes off of Coastal Carolina, so it'll be Charleston's basketball. Charleston caught a break there because Cutherson was wide open in the corner, Danny. Yeah, he, he they, they doubled down for him. He swung around in the corner. He had a good look at it. Charleston Six, caught a break. 6.50 left to play. Charleston trailing by one, 62-61. Jasper, bounce pass over to Galloway, right in front of the Charleston bench. Back to Jasper. Jasper over to Gal uh, excuse me, Riller, down to Brantley. Brantley for the lead. Ball tipped the jumper from the right baseline as Cutherson got a hand on it and falls into the hands of Brown. Brown working top of the key. Dribbles right towards the coastal bench. He'll throw it back to Cutherson. Up. Top of the key between the circles. He'll throw it in the corner to Sanders. Sanders will dribble up. And they'll dump it down to Bamba. Bamba now being guarded by Harris. Drives around Harris. Comes to jump stop. Left hook, no, that was a walk. Good call by Sermons. Easily. I don't know how the official right there on the baseline missed that. But Doug Sermons there to save the day. So the turnover is the just the fifth. 
no, correction, they're 11th of the game for Coastal. Charleston trying to take the lead back, trailing 62-61. Bounce pass over to Harris, he'll swing it to Brantley. Brantley, double team, so pass it out to Galloway, he'll swing it to Jasper. Over to Riller, who will the left baseline, force a shot up, no good, gets his own offensive rebound, put back attempt is no good, and Cutherson grabs the rebound. 5.50 left to play in Coastal lead, 62-61. Crawls working against Riller. He'll throw it in the corner. Now the Sanders will dump it down to Cutherson. Turnaround jumper is good. Cutherson extends the Coastal lead to 3, 64-61. Bounce pass over to Galloway. Back over to Jasper. Jasper works around the screen. And they'll call a foul against Bamba. That'll be the sixth foul. Josh Coleman will check into the lineup. He'll give Bamba a little breather. So it'll be Charleston's basketball. On the sideline, Galloway will inbound it right to the right of the Charleston bench. 5.17 left. Charleston trailing 64-61. So the officials are checking the monitor for some reason. I'm not sure. Been over there quite a bit tonight, haven't they? They seem like they're going to check a seems lot like of it. random stuff. So the Shauna Clears will get a substitution in as Josh Peterson will check into the lineup to give Brown a breather. There's Jesper catching in the backcourt. 5-14 left to play. Charleston trailing 64-61. They'll throw it out to Riller. Riller between the circles, middle of the floor, over to Jasper. We'll dump it down to Brantley. Brantley, here comes the double team. He'll split the double team. Shot up with the right hand. No good. And the rebound grabbed by Coastal Carolina. As Josh Coleman comes up with it. Oh, that, that might have been a pass. It could have possibly been. Cuthbertson hands it off to Crawlge. Crawlge working against Riller. We'll dump it down to Cuthbertson on the left baseline. Working against Brantley. Pull up jumper. No pass. At the last second, the pass stolen by Riller. Ahead to Brantley. Brantley in the front court. He'll leave it off for Riller. Riller on the block. Nope, he'll throw it out to Harris. Harris out to Brantley. Over to Galloway. Three-pointer for the tie. No good. Too strong off the back iron. Rebound grabbed by Sanders. 4.25 left to play. Coastal leading 64-61. Charleston's got to start getting some defensive stops. Peterson guarded by Jasper. Peterson still has it. Drives under the basket, comes to jump stop, turn around. No, he'll pass it to Brown. Goes off uh, Coleman, I say, right into the hands of Sanders. His jumper hits the back iron, no good. And a foul's going to go against Josh Coleman as he knocks Zepp Jasper to the ground. And more importantly, Danny, that's his second, but team seventh. So that means Zepp Jasper now will have a chance to go to the free throw line to end this scoring drought. And this is an opportunity for them to take advantage here. Sometimes if you, if you struggle scoring, you can get to the line and get some points on the board. So Zep, Zep Jasper, three points on the evening. At the free throw line, one plus the bonus. Takes his time, eyes the basket, and it's good. Coastal on a 12-0, excuse me, 12, now 12-2 run over the last six minutes. Jasper with an opportunity to cut this down to a one-point lead for Coastal. I got to think, Danny, if he makes this, the crowd should definitely get into the game. That's right. And he does. 64-63, Coastal leads, 4.04 left to play. And here they come. Brown has it in the front court. Driving to the basket, he'll cut it off. He'll throw the Cutherson, ball knocked within his hand. Does he go out of bounds? No, he cuts a timeout before falling out of bounds, and so it'll be 
Coastal Basketball. This 30-second time turns into a full timeout, so we'll take a full timeout. 3.48 left to play. Coastal 64, Charleston 63. You're listening to the Charleston Sports Network. Charleston's 0 for their last 8 from the field. Charleston shooting. Believe it or not, Danny, Charleston's shooting 43%, but Coastal's shooting 51%. That's just not very Charleston-like defense. Yeah, and it's been like that all night. We talked about it a half. It's a 50%. They're just not going to be happy with that. They want to keep you in the high 30s, low 40s at the worst. So 3.48 on the clock, 14 seconds on the shot clock. It'll be Coastal Basketball to our left. They'll inbound it underneath on the baseline. So... Brown will inbound it. He'll throw it to Cutherson near the timeline. He's working against Brantley. Fakes, drives to the basket, shot up, and the layup is good. Cutherson with the isolation against Brantley, and Cutherson now with 19 points. Gives Charleston a, a coastal, a 66-63 lead with 3.40 left to play. Galloway over to Jasper. Jasper gets the screen from Harris. Jasper will throw it out to Galloway. Back to Jasper, checks the clock, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Jasper drives the baseline, jumper is no good, but he's fouled, and boy, did Charleston catch a break there. He was falling out of bounds behind the rim and threw it up. He's fouled, and when we come back, Jasper will be at the free throw line to shoot two. 3.15 left the play. Describe stigma as shame that can be felt as a judgment. Break the stigma. Don't be afraid to get help. We are January Cedars. Next home game after tonight will be January 10th when they host Drexel, Thursday night, 7 p.m. And of course, Saturday, January 12th, they'll host Delaware. The game will tip off at 4 p.m. So first things first, Zep Jasper will be at the free throw line. Charleston trailing 66-63, a one and one coming up for Jasper. He went two for two on the last trip. Free throw up, free throw good. So Jasper awaits the second. Second free throw, also good. 66-65, Coastal with the lead and the basketball. 3.15 left to play. Charleston applying full court pressure. Cutherson comes back, he's in the front court, and here comes the Charleston Nation. Brown, over to Bamba, over to Cutherson, back over to Brown. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Pass down to Sanders, right above the free throw line. They'll dump it down, ball knocked away and stolen. And Zep Jasper comes up with the steal, and he's fouled in the backcourt. Nick Harris with the punch away, a punch away, right into the hands of Zep Jasper. And now Jasper will go back to the free throw line where he's hit his last four free throws. And again, this might be where Charleston has to manufacture their points, getting to the line and, and, and getting them from there. Zep Jasper with seven points, but he's four for four from the free throw line. So again, one and one coming up as that's just the ninth team foul against Coastal. Jasper takes a deep breath, eyes the basket, shot up, and it's nothing but net. We're tied at 66. A little, baffled, a little baffled by Bamba won a foul there, too. You know, like, you know, it's three minutes to go. It's just a turnover. It's almost like he panicked and just grabbed him. <laughs> so, Zep Jasper for the lead. And I'll let the crowd tell you. 67-66. Charleston leads. 252 left to play. Brown working against Jasper. Coach Grant calling for solid defense. Brown now in the front court. Dribbling towards his bench over to Crawls. Crawls drives the baseline. Shot up. Left hand. He's good. Took Brevin Galloway straight to the cup. And Coastal back on top. 68-67 with 2.30 left to play. Jasper walks it into the front court. Bounce pass over to Brantley. Brantley drives to the basket. Shot up with the right hand, and it's good. And a foul. No. I thought I saw his hand go up for a foul. So Charleston back on top now. 
69-68, and Cliff Ellis is going to take a timeout. 2-10 left to play. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. And you have to figure that Jarrell Brantley, this is the time when the beast usually takes over, Danny. Yeah, I mean, he's looking for that challenge. Cup Reserve has taken it on with him, so you know JB, he's not going to, he doesn't have that, he has that in his chest. He's going to take on that challenge, and you're right. I look for him to go make plays in this last two minutes and 10 seconds. Willer's got 20. Brantley's got 18. Cuthbertson's got 19. Brown's got 13. Sanders has 13, and Kralch has 10. Obama's got eight. Coastal Carolina shooting 53% from the floor. Charleston shooting 44. Coastal eight for 20 from behind the three-point line. Charleston 11 for 14. Charleston tonight with nine offensive rebounds, Danny, while Coastal with four. Right now, this is about as evenly matched of a game as you can probably say. I mean, Charleston's got 31 rebounds. Coastal's got 30. In terms of fouls, Riller has none. Galloway's got two. Brantley's got three. Harris has two. Now, for Coastal, Bamba does have four. Brown has two. Cutperson has two. Sanders has one. If you think about it, Danny, for the game, Coastal's only committed 14 fouls. And Charleston's only committed eight. Amazing. It's back to action. Brown in the middle of the floor. 2.05 left to play. Charleston leading 69-68. McCrawls now working against Marquise Porter, who checks into the lineup. Right back to Brown. Brown over a three-pointer from the corner from Cutherson is no good. The rebound grab by Brantley. He'll hand it off to Zepp Jasper. Jasper will walk it into the front court. 1.45 left to play. Jasper. Over to Riller, on the, along the right wing above the three-point line. Riller in the paint, driving layup left, right, right hand layup is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it goes off of Coastal Carolina, and so it'll be Charleston's basketball. Everybody's standing up, Danny. I'm having to watch the game on the monitor. I can't really see what's going on out there. Thank goodness we got one. Exactly. <laughs> so it's 13 seconds left on the shot clock, 137 on the game clock. Charleston leads one 69-68. Cougars will inbound it on the baseline right near the Charleston bench. Oh, looks like that Jasper. Yeah, Jasper's inbounding the basketball. He'll get it into Riller. Riller will back it away. Riller working one-on-one. -on -one. He'll swing it over to Brantley. Brantley fakes the three, drops to the basket. Stop. Jumper. No good. Air ball. Rebound grab by Coastal. Head to Crawl. He's already in the front court. Crawl's picked up by Jasper. 120 left to play. He'll throw it out to Brown. Brown, Olga Cutperson, fakes the three. He'll drive, cut off. He'll leave it off for Crawls. Crawls, he'll throw it back to Cutperson. 15 seconds to shoot. He'll throw it in the corner. Brown fakes the three, still has it. Taking his time. He'll rise, he'll fire the three, and it's good. Brown buries the three right in front of the Coastal bench, and that puts Coastal on top. 71 69 with 55 seconds left to play. Jasper, not taking a timeout. Earl. Grant calling the play. Jasper drives right on the right baseline. Looking, gets it to Riller. Riller, top of the key. 14 seconds. Riller over to Brantley. Fakes the three. Foul. And they're going to call a foul on the floor, but it doesn't matter. It's going to go against. I think it's going to go against Cutherson, but more importantly, that's the 10th team foul, Danny. So double bonus. Brantley at the free throw line shooting two. Thirty nine point six seconds left. Charleston trailing seventy one to sixty nine. Jarrell Brantley, one of the better free throw free throw shooters on the team at the free throw line. First free throw. Good. Brantley, an 80 percent free throw shooter. Needs to make one more. To tie it. And again, about a nine second differential between shot clock and game clock and he misses the second. Ball's off, so Charleston trails by one, 71-70. As Coastal comes down with the rebound, Brown will bring it to the front court. Just near the timeline, just dribbling, dribbling, taking his time. The home winning streak on the line. Cutherson 
He's going to be the one to go one-on-one. -on -one. Working against Brantley, taking his time. Five seconds to shoot. Stop, pop, three-pointer, no good. Off to the right, zip. Jasper grabs the rebound. Jasper will bring it into the front court. Jasper still has it, top of the key. Jasper in the paint, over to Brantley. Three-pointer for the win. He had it! He had it! He had it! 1.1 second left. And a timeout called by Coastal Carolina. Brantley buried the three from the corner. Charleston on top, 73-71. They took a timeout, we'll take it with them. Cougars lead. You're listening to the Charleston Sports Network from Learfield. It's a crazy environment here at TD Arena. Jerome Brantley buries a three-pointer with 1.2 seconds left. Charleston leads 73-71. Coastal Carolina, they have to go the full length of the floor. And Earl Grant will take a timeout. He wanted to see what Coastal was going to do. Jerome Brantley now with 22 points on the night. Danny had a chance to tie it up from the free throw line. Missed the second, and what a big shot from the senior, Jarrell Brantley. I mean, who else do you want to take the shot? You know at the end of the game it's going to be either him or Riller. So, I mean, you, those guys are going to get the balls, and those guys are expected to make plays. They've been here and done that. Not surprised he's ready for the moment. So both teams getting their final instructions. So it'll be Jasper, Riller, Brantley, Harris, and Porter on the floor for Charleston. A.J. Sanders is going to inbound it. Brown, Cutherson, Sanders, and Crawls on the floor for Cliff Ellis. So they're not going to guard the inbounder. Sanders looking, looking. He'll throw it. Pass intercepted by Zepp Jasper, and that's the ball game. The streak continues.